What up, peeps? Tony Baker randomly here. Super Bowl. I forget what number the Super Bowl is, but it's Super Bowl Patriots Rams. Uh, I forget what number we're on now. It's 50-something. It's been 50-something years of glorious Super Bowls, man. Uh, Patriots versus the Rams. The Christmas tree is still up. It's February 3rd. The Christmas tree is still here. The Christmas tree ain't going nowhere. Need y'all to respect the fact that we still got the tree up. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm leaning to the side so you can see the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree is a part of the family now. It's just tree now. It's not even just for Christmas. It's just tree. Okay? We got a problem with that? Anyway, man, I want to talk about the Super Bowl. A lot of people ask me, Tony, are you still boycotting the Super Bowl? Yes, I am. I mean, not the Super Bowl, I'm boycotting. Um, the NFL, like, and, you know, people oppose like pretty legit questions. Like what will it take to, you know, for you to come back to watching the NFL? Why does it even matter? Nobody cares that you protest in the Super Bowl. Uh, I keep saying protest in the Super Bowl. Nobody cares that you protest in the NFL. Why do it? Uh, what's the point? Um, you know, it's not about the NFL, it's about something else going on in America. My whole thing is this, and this is why I made the decision that I made. Um, when Kaepernick took a knee, I think he was sitting down initially, and then he took a knee because a veteran told him it'd be more respectful to take a knee, which he followed suit because, you know, he respects veterans. When he did that, I didn't like the backlash of it. Um, I didn't like how the NFL responded to it. I don't like how they handled it. Um, and, and yes, not every team, you know, was like strict or hard on their players about it, but, but some were, some, they weren't tolerant of it. Um, he didn't play after that. Like once he did that, he didn't play another season after that. When he still had some gas left in the tank where a team would have definitely picked him up had he had not done that. I believe that had he had not done this. He'd probably still be playing in the NFL right now. You don't just go from starting quarterback to just out of the out of the mix altogether. And so I just feel like he was made to pay the price just because he was standing up for racism, which was initially kneeling for racism in America. And like and, and to be honest, like the Star Spangled Banner, man, that, that song needed to be revised anyway. It's it's rooted in it's rooted in racism. This country is rooted in racism. And they had they had racist lyrics within the song. Yeah, they did a little edit, but it's still part of the song. We honestly need to revise Star Spangled Banner if you want to keep it 100. And like, you know, people always be like, you don't like what's going on in this country, just leave for what? People that look like me, they helped build this country for nothing, for free. And so... You know, we got a right to be here. We have a right to complain about stuff. And if it's not fixed, we have a right to speak out on it. That's what America is. I thought it was. But now it's turning into, if you don't like what's going on, just leave. If if you buy a house and the toilet's messed up, you're not going to move to another house just because the toilet's messed up. You, you're going to fix the toilet. You're going to fix the den. You're going to fix the roof. You're going to fix the basement steps. You're going to fix the hot water heater. You're not just going to move out just because there's some things wrong with it. And that's, just just leave them. No, let's fix the problem. Let's fix the problem. You know, he initially did it because, you know, people keep getting killed by the police unjustly and not serving real time for it. And then people bring up the dumb argument like, well, blacks kill blacks on the time. Black on black crime. What about that? The thing is, you know, if Jamal kills Andre, Jamal goes to jail. He serves time. He goes to jail for murder. Cops aren't hold, cops aren't held to the same standard. And yes, it's a it's a stickier situation, but this mess with cops <clears throat> and black people, people of color, has been going on far too long since since the cops even started. Period in America, there's been this disconnect between black people and the police, and it still hasn't been rectified. Yes, there there are great cops out there. There are great cops out there. But there's a lot of bad ones. There's a lot of corruption. There's a lot of people getting into police, into, into law enforcement for the wrong reasons. And, you know, they don't know how to treat people. They're not really they're not really being community police. They're just running around using their badge for power purposes, more so than just being true servants of the people. 
Um, you know, you, we got people calling the cops on a, on a hair trigger uh, whim. Like, you know, I'm, I'm going to just call the cops on you because you out here selling candy in front of the apartment building. Just stuff like that. It's just, it's just a real disconnect. And I, I applaud Kaepernick for what he did. And so I just don't like how it was handled. I don't like how the NFL handled it. I don't like how America responded to it. It really showed everybody's true colors and said, you want to complain about what he did, but yet and still, you don't want to complain about your local law enforcement for how they handle situations where they're taking people's lives and not really suffering real ramifications for it. It just doesn't make any sense. And that, that Kaepernick wanted to highlight the bigger problem. And so, and you know what, forget it. I don't, I don't care about that damn Star Spangled Banner song. That song needs to be revised. I shouldn't have to give it the utmost respect when black people weren't given the utmost respect when they wrote the song and the lyrics of the song. So don't, don't, don't give me that. Because people hide their racism under patriotism. You're going to stand for the flag. You're going to do what we say. No, we got issues to address within this country. And so I just didn't like how the NFL handled all of that, man. It just it left a bad taste in my mouth and... And people, are, they don't care about the players anyway. They out here getting, you know, concussions. They have to, they, yeah, they get paid a lot of money, but still, it's still not addressing the long-term effects of the damage to the brain out here. Um, yes, they employ a lot of a lot of black folks, and a lot of people think, well, do, if the NFL is racist, why they got so many black players? Black players add a lot of value to the company. You know what I'm saying? They put butts in the seats. They're making your teams better. It's, it's called using people. That, simple as that. They got a lot of black players because black players generate money. They generate victories. And of course, they're going to be on the team. Of course. So don't use that as excuse. Like, yeah, they, they, it's called using people. That's what this country was founded on as well. They use black people right out the gate. They use us for free labor. If you think that's changed now, there's money involved. Yeah, they, they're paying players money, but they're still using them. At the end of the day, it's not real care. It's not real care about the environments these players are coming out of. It's not real care about the stuff they're passionate about. Instead of getting on Kaepernick's case, look into why he did it. Because <clears throat> a lot of these players are coming from low-income communities, like violent communities, Communities where there's there's a lot of police brutality, all all kind of stuff going on within their communities. Why not address that? Why not help that situation out instead of just oh no no you just gonna stand for this song? It just it left a bad taste in my mouth, man. It, you know it hurt too because I love football. I love watching the NFL, and it was like, but then you see you see how they truly value these players, and you know what's important to them. And, uh, you know, this ain't the time or the place to be pro. They put stuff on the field all the time. They pumping up the military. Every time you watch a football game, they pumping up the military. This ain't the place or the time to talk about the military. Oh, 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 oh we can because it's America. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? They talk about breast cancer. They got the breast cancer awareness every month. This ain't the time. To, this ain't the time to be talking about breast cancer. We We get sad when we think about breast cancer. You know, this ain't the time. But that's fine, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like you, you can do all of that and still enjoy the game. You can be like, man, breast cancer, you know what I'm saying? Let me donate to that. It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Let's not forget that. We can still enjoy the game, but let's not forget what's going on out here. People are suffering and dying from cancer. Let's focus on that. Same thing, like, you know what I'm saying? He's kneeling. He's kneeling during the anthem because, you know, He's kneeling during the anthem because it's it's a lot going on in America that's not being addressed, it's not being rectified, it's not being cured in a sense. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of problems in this country, man. And like, it's like nobody cares. It's like entertainment over everything. Entertainment over everything. That, that's, that's what it seems to be. And so, so no, I said all that to say this. In the national anthem, Star Spangled Banner, you know, it, it's tough, man. When, it, when there's so much blood on the flag, whether it be, you know, from war, from, from slavery, from, from all kind of stuff, from racism, from police brutality, corruption, violence. It's just hard to, to just ignore it and just be blind with your patriotism. Like, this country does no wrong, I'm gonna follow you to the end. No, let's address 
the problems and let's try to fix it. You want to fix your home. If this is your home, you want to fix it. You want to make it the best home possible, man. You want to have a nice roof. You want to have a nice garage. You want to have your lawn cut. You know what I'm saying? You want to clean your house. You want to vacuum. You want to dust. You know what I'm saying? You're not just going to have a raggedy home and call it home. You want to clean it up. You want it to look nice. You want it to feel nice when you come in there. You want to feel welcome. You want to be at home. And so when we address problems in America, we're just trying to clean them home. We're trying to vacuum. We're trying to, you know, we're trying to dust. We're trying to fix the plumbing. We're trying to fix the, the light fixtures, fix the power lines. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to fix all of that. So I just can't watch the Super Bowl. So I said all that to say that. And uh, yeah, man, sorry I was fumbling and stumbling over my words. I'm talking fast. I'm doing too much. I just got back home. It's crazy out here. We wild out here. Anyway, man, uh, let me know if you want to see more of these type of videos on my page, man. Uh, comment, comment. Leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are you watching the Super Bowl? Are you not watching the Super Bowl? Let me know in the comment section below. And, uh, and don't get all mad and then your feelings just because I'm protesting the uh, the NFL and like you know what I'm saying I oh excuse me for for not believing that America's perfect out here and shouldn't be called out on the bullshit. Uh, but let me know in the comment section below, man. And as usual, we out here.